every car is going to be different, so you're going to have to try this and experiment. We get back online here, F10, so we're on our live data. I'm going to make sure I save it. And now I'm going to go hit F9 and try this and see if we build more boost. And we should. F10, we definitely built boost, about seven, eight pounds of boost there. If we pan across, we can see our air fuel, and looking at this now, air fuel is going to 14s, 16, 13, 16, 13s. We definitely need a little bit more fuel. So I'm gonna add some more fuel for sure. Let's jump into our actual ignition timing and see where that went. Our ignition timing here went about zero degrees, and we can see we're building about eight pounds right there. Now if we look here at our boost tuning, we can see that our quick spool was slamming that wastegate valve shut. We had a 100% duty cycle to the solenoid that's really important. Then we can see once we started to build that eight pounds of boost, that was the threshold to turn quick spool off in first gear. We're gonna be seeing that it cycled on and off here. So what I'm gonna do is, it was a little bit lazy to build this boost. I wanna build the boost a little bit quicker. So let's pull a little bit more ignition timing out so it's gonna come up and build the boost a little bit faster. Also add some more fuel. Let's jump in here and do that while we're talking. I'm going to go in, uh, I'm going to go into my fuel enrichment and just go to 600. Again, trial and error, I'm going to be trying to just add as much as I can to get the air fuel to richen up a little bit. Um, and we're just going to be, as it's cutting and coming back in on the live end reading, we're going to have to just kind of decipher and look what the air fuel is doing. It's going to give us skewed readings, but we want to see it be maybe generally in the 10, 11, 12 to 1 range. We don't want to see it go um, something 16, 13. It's a little bit too lean. We also don't want to see it go from 16 to 9 to 1, back up to 16. We don't want to be super rich. So we're going to be adjusting our fuel enrichment as needed. I'm going to go here into my ignition retard, type in negative 30, and we're going to be trying that. And let's go here, and we should see that our ignition timing now is going to go down here. We saw it went to about zero degrees, five degrees. Should be going up another 10 degrees less than that now, and we should build boost a little bit quicker. Let's go ahead and we're going to be trying that. So F10, I'm going to be live right now. And go ahead, I'm going to be uh, going in and starting my log. So F9, let's try this. <laughs> built more boost and it was much quicker to build a boost that's really key 